Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland and um, I'm pigeoning with my bottle of water so excuse that. I'm doing, I wanted to do this session, um, hypnosis session today and it's not a daily hypnosis session like I do every, or well, try and do every day. This is a, a standalone session. But it's something that's important, so I thought that I would uh, do it now while I'm sort of thinking about it. And this is about self-talk. This is about the way that we talk to ourselves. So. you like to get yourself into a comfortable position, either lying down on a flat surface, sitting in a comfortable chair, and close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so. And I'm just going to talk to you. There's not really anything that you need to do. You can just allow yourself to drift off if that's what naturally happens. Because this is all about nature. This is all about natural occurrences for me. And if you naturally fall asleep when you listen to my voice, that's fine. If you naturally become more alert, and if you're stimulated when you watch my videos, that's also okay. Whatever feelings arise are okay because you well you may not know but if you if you watch my videos and listen to my hypnosis sessions regularly you know that everything that I say is about positive change it's about creating a different future if that's what you desire. It's about changing the way that you think. Again, if that's what you want. It's about self-empowerment. It's about really being and getting in touch with you, with how you are. Not just with you, but with how you are who you are and more importantly I guess who you want to be because change is really possible and the examples are everywhere it's not just my words you know don't just take why my words you know just because I say it just open your eyes look around Change is happening all the time. The weather's always changing. Especially if you live where I live. You get through about three seasons a day. Your hair is always changing. I wish my hair stayed the same, but it keeps changing. I'm starting to go grey. Starting, I'm continuing to go grey. change, I'm aging, change, it was quiet here a second ago, now the neighbours upstairs are walking around and there's a little bit of sound, change, the birds are now singing outside the window, I like that change. So these video sessions, these hypnosis sessions, are about change. And they're about discovering new ways to live, new ways to think, new ways to feel. And that brings me to the reason why I'm doing this session. 
there's, in my opinion, too much negative self-talk going on with people. And you can answer the question yourself whether or not you always talk to yourself kindly. Do you? I'm guessing the answer is possibly no. And if it is, if you really 100% believe that you always talk to yourself kindly, then turn this off now and you don't need to watch this. You may need to watch the, the session on lying to yourself. But, um, <laughs> I'm only kidding. So, here's a technique that you can use to help you to move away from the negative self-talk. And I'm not talking about just the negative self-talk where you think, oh, I can't. I can't, oh, I don't know if I can do that, and, oh, uh, he's so nice, but I don't know if I can approach him, because he, all, all that stuff. That's obviously not very helpful to have those negative thoughts. But what I'm more thinking about and focusing on in this session is the hostile and abusive, violent thoughts, violent self-talk that we have against ourselves. You know, when we call ourselves an idiot, call ourselves stupid, and worse, I've heard stories where people say the most horrible things to themselves. You know, putting themselves down, criticising themselves, swearing at themselves. And that's violence, violent talk to themselves and the bottom line is this is harmful to you if you do it if you talk to yourself in a negative nasty way that is harmful to you it's abusive to you it's an abuse a verbal abuse, it's emotional abuse to yourself. And you may not think of it like this, or you may not have thought about it in this way until now. This is the fact. It affects you in a huge way, in a way that you perhaps have never even imagined. And it's time for it to stop. And here's a technique that you can use to reduce this negative, hostile, abusive self-talk. And if you're willing to do this, it can change your life. So what I'd like you to do is think of someone, a young person, a young child, who you, you care for dearly whether it's your own child, whether it's a niece and nephew, whether it's a god goddaughter, godson, whether it's a friend's child, some young child that you care for deeply, really, really care for. And whenever you say something to yourself that's abusive or you know something negative when you say it to yourself, Ask yourself the question, would I say this to him or her, whoever the young child is? If the young child's name's Tony, would I say this to Tony? And if the answer is no, then let it go. Don't criticise yourself, don't have a go at yourself because that defeats the whole object of it. Just let it go. And every time you say something nasty to yourself, Ask yourself that question. Would I say that to Tony or the name of the person? See how you get on and let me know. And that brings us to the end of this session. You take care of yourselves. And remember, be kind to yourself.